Okay, so we know the median um, of the, the marks, we know it's 65. The next question we might uh, reasonably ask is, what was the largest mark or the highest mark and what was the smallest mark? What was the maximum and the minimum? And that's not hard to find if you've got the marks sorted. So in our case, the maximum mark was 92 and the minimum mark was 53. So you'll see nobody failed the course. Now, uh, this means at this point that we've got four uh, numbers, representative numbers, about this marks data, this marks variable. Um, I'll, I'll call them statistics, but I'm using that word statistic rather loosely here. Later on, we'll see that it has, it is also used in a technical way, but I'm not really doing that here. So we know the minimum 53, we know the median 65, the maximum of 92, and we know that we have 72 uh, data points in the variable. Now, given this information, this enables us to really start forming a spatial understanding um, of the data. And this is roughly what it might look like. So we only have three points that we know about. We know the, min the minimum there, we know the median, and we know the maximum. And when we look at that, the first thing that probably would strike us is that the students' marks are somewhat compressed um, between the minimum and the median. So they're compressed into a range of about 12 marks between 53 and 65. And then the uh, upper half of the students are spread out over a range of about uh, 27 marks between 65 and 92. So that uh, might immediately be of interest to us. It depends what our interests are. But I look at this sort of data all the time because I'm a second examiner for a lot of courses. And I would look at that and think, oh, that's interesting. I wonder what's, what's going on there. Now, when we've got these, um, these four uh, statistics here, the minimum, medium, uh, maximum and size, just from the minimum and maximum, we can calculate what's known as the range of the marks. The range is just the maximum minus the minimum. And that might be of interest to us too. So the range is 39. And when we see that, we realize, okay, well, that's, that's about roughly 40% of the, the maximum possible range, which would be from zero to 100 marks. Um, and it's about 80% of the pass range, which is from 50 to 100. So we might be interested in that. That might be a bit of information about the data that might be of interest to us if we were interested in the distribution uh, of students' marks. Now, the statistics that we've got so far could have come from um, data sets that had a lot of different characteristics. So they could have looked like this. So if you look at this um, data set here, what you see is we've got a whole lot of 53s and then we've got two 65s um, and a whole lot of 92s. And that data set would also have a minimum of 53, a medium of 60, median of 65, and a maximum of 92. It's highly unlikely to be um, the set of marks from a class taking a course um, at ANU last semester, but um, it still has those same uh, four statistics, the same maximum, minimum, medium, and size. So what we do is we move on to uh, calculating some more statistics which will give us a richer picture of the data and I'll deal with those in the next video.